Hello and welcome back. I'm Deirdre and this is episode 15 of moving into my new home, having downsized, done the big declutter, done all the packing up and moving out and now I'm here and in my apartment and loving it. And I'm just going about the process of tweaking it little by little so that it's just right for me. The banging you can hear is a guy working um, on making the walkways around the apartments um, all safe. So that's a good thing to hear, but he's not too loud. So if you hear that, that's all it is, just ignore it. And the other thing we're ignoring is the fact that I've had sinus, uh, sinusitis all week and my eyes don't look normal. Let's just pretend they do and we'll just get on with it. So a little bit earlier, um, I, the noise from outside was so much I couldn't film. So I just filmed myself painting the frame for the ponies up there and I'm really happy with them in black that was definitely for me it's the right way to go and um, so that's all done and now what um, I've been sort of organizing things a little bit uh, like I'll, I'll show you I've reorganized my um, my bathroom and um, but I've been doing sort of boring things like trying to find the right uh, washing machine to go into this apartment because my big one is just filling up the whole of the laundry room it doesn't work it doesn't fit where it's meant to fit so I've got to get a new one and so I've been out doing things like that and um, I bought uh, a new vacuum cleaner this is incredibly exciting I bought a vacuum cleaner that doesn't take up any room because I've discovered this whole process of when you live in an apartment you don't want things to take up any space um, I've also been going through and uh, doing a little bit of a declutter the back of my car is full of things but boring things you don't need to see that's like um, boxes and crates, plastic boxes, things like that, that I will give away to the charity shop. And I'm not sure what's next. It's almost time, I think. I've got the door open here, so, you know, the birds are whistling and it's, it's so warm that I can have the door open. Um, it must be almost time to start thinking about that balcony and making a garden out on the balcony, which I'm really looking forward to. It won't take, um, you know, just one or two episodes. I think it might take several because it's going to come and come together sort of slowly. I've got a few ideas and um, I'll talk to you about them, but I haven't got anything organized as yet. But right now, let me just take you over there and show you what the ponies look like with their nice black frame. And um, I'll just have a quick wander around and show you how things are looking. I still haven't done my study. I still haven't done the laundry room but that's why I just said I have to buy a washing machine um, but yeah I'm really happy with the way the place is looking at the moment it feels very comfortable very homey yeah lots of things to keep me busy okay I'm going to start painting my frame and I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the table I'm going to put it on with a brush take it off with a clean dry roller and hopefully I'll end up with a pretty good look I know what I need to do. First I need to get something to pop underneath it so it can dry well and I will find something. Just got these little things they're called grabbers and that's going to lift up the corners a little bit and let me paint. It doesn't matter if any paint gets on them but I just don't want to have to touch the paint while it's still wet. Now I'm going to do both the inside and the outside. Um, because if you can see a shadow on the inside, at least some of it, um, it will show through the front. I normally wouldn't paint out of a paint pot, but this is a little sample pot. There they are. I haven't hung it yet because I've literally just um, taken it off the balcony where it was drying. But I really like the crispness of the black frame. It came up really well. I'm very happy with it. Corners, everything's nice and crisp and even. And it's uh, two coats of paint it took. So I've just got it sitting on some little pads down there so it doesn't mark the top. 
I will screw it into the back of the, um, the canvas itself soon. But um, yeah, really happy with that. Um, what else am I going to be doing? I'm going to put some moss, I think, in here and some more plants over here. So this will be a nice green area. So coming around, the living room is pretty much as I've seen it before. Um, this is the balcony with my air dryer for my washing sitting out there. And you can see I'm going to need to screen up here and across the bottom. But I can make that really lovely. It's quite a good space. The kitchen is great. It isn't as dark as it looks at the moment. It just don't have any lights on. Ta-da! Um, but yeah, so kitchen works super well. I must admit, I'm really pleased with the kitchen. It's very simple, very plain space, but god it works well. And then there's the little entrance area, which isn't that little, and it's got uh, this here, and I'll sh an overview screen. I'm still tempted to paint it. Uh, but we'll try to lighten it in some way. I just don't want it quite that dark. Here's a very dark ottoman that has only been sitting there for about a month because I do need to sell it. And uh, this is the way that um, I dealt with that separation between the two areas. I've just got some magazines down here. I wanted it to stay open, but I also wanted it to separate. And um, I'm quite happy with that. You can see from the other side, it, um, it works really well. It sort of segregates the areas, but without enclosing. I like, I like that, I'm happy with that. I'm tempted to just downsize my TV and downsize the space and baskets piled on top of each other. There's a lot I can do in there yet. Um, what else? Bedroom. Bedroom looks nice. I like my bedroom. I've still got a few things to do because, <laughs> as you all knew, I was going to run out of uh, storage and I have. So, yep, lovely bedroom. Like it just the way it is. Study. Study is, yeah, I know, well, I can walk in here. This is a plus. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this area over here. Um, I'm going to get my big table, it's not that big, but a table desk in here. So that can go, my computer will sit on my desk. These, can, these two cupboards can sit underneath my desk. Yeah, this will work. But as yet, you see, I haven't done. Let's see what I haven't done. I haven't done this yet. I really need to organise that because everything else comes off the back of it. The bathroom is great, but you saw that a couple of weeks ago when I put those lights up, some plants, it's just clean, tidy, easy. I did actually organise these, um, these cupboards. There you go. So I've got good storage and um, everything is just at hand now. Um, and this, um, I won't leave this orange, this tray will, I think, get painted white, but it just keeps everything together, covers up some more of the brown. And over here I've just got um, some little containers for things and I haven't got any plants, any flowers in here, but I've just got my hand towels and the little basket. And then up here, um, I've just got normal things. I've just got normal things. So, there we are. The ponies are framed. Um, and a quick tour around the apartment to see where I'm up to. There are still a lot of things to do, I know that, mainly with putting up the art. I've been living with these quite bare walls for a while now. I <laughs> wish I didn't enjoy them so much, but I do. And um, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to have to get a couple of uh, chests of drawers for the bedroom because as I said, uh, you all knew, and I sort of did, that I'm just not going to have enough space. So I want to be able to move things out. Uh, it, those things that I need to access just readily, I'm just gonna put in a couple of chests of drawers in the bedroom and that will be fine. Uh, but yeah, I've settled in really well. I was looking at uh, a house for, for rent uh, with a girlfriend the other day and this, the thought of it filled me with horror. I thought, oh no, I don't want to live away from my beautiful apartment. It was for her daughter. And uh, I thought, oh no, I couldn't go back to living just in a house with, you know, without these people around me. I love it. It's just perfect for me. The next thing on the list has to be the balcony because spring is coming and I'm starting to get sort of twitchy. I want to get that organised and looking beautiful. I need to screen it quite a lot so I can use it properly and get some little bits of furniture that just so I can sit out there with a friend and you know have a glass of wine in the evening perhaps or a cup of coffee during the day and enjoy being you know out in the fresh air with the birds 
tweeting and the train you hear the train going by not sure if you'll catch that but um, I do enjoy having that access to just a little bit of quiet space I'd love you to come along for the journey um, so subscribe if you would like to and if you'd like to catch up on what I've been doing before there are playlists up here and um, I will be back probably on Sunday I think it's going to be Thursday and Sunday uh, I hope that whatever you're doing, you're having a lovely day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.